What's going on, everybody? Crazy Dog back with my second video of the day. And you already know what's about to go down in this video. As I mentioned in my first video, talking about the Browns hiring Deuce Staley. In this video, I'm going to be talking about 15 unrestricted free agents who are playing this weekend that the Browns could potentially target when free agency starts up in March. Now here's the article. Shout out to my guy, Corey. And uh, yeah, cooked up another banger article on the Browns Wire. Link to the whole article down in the description so you guys can check it out for yourself. Now I'm not gonna spend too much time on this article because I don't want this video to go over like 20 minutes. I try and keep it short and sweet. So. We got 15 free, unrestricted free agents in conference championship weekend the Browns could target. With that being said, let's take a look. So we're going to start off, and right off the bat, you're going to notice Corey sorted it by team. So we're starting off with the Detroit Lions. And right off the bat, he mentions Chauncey, or CJ, Gardner-Johnson, safety for the Lions. Of course, he was a former Eagle. You know, there was a whole hullabaloo of could he go back to Philly? And then out of the blue, he signs with Detroit for a year. And he's had a pretty good season. He was hurt, too. But, uh, yeah, I would definitely like to take a look at CJ in free agency if the money's right. He's a baller. You know, he is an absolute baller. And like Corey mentions in the little description piece underneath, he says, with Rodney McLeod likely moving on, a new third safety and nickel could be in order. He sounds like a perfect fit right there. Next, he mentions Josh Reynolds, who would come in and most likely be a receiver three for us. Definitely. He could even be a receiver two, but I think a receiver three definitely would fit him for sure. Uh, we do need a, another receiver to complement Amari. And I think... Fit for us. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Next, he mentioned, oh, Donovan Peoples-Jones. <laughs> yeah, let's bring back DPJ. Because uh, it didn't really look good uh, when he was here, you know, this past year. We had the, we traded in the Detroit and it hasn't really done much. I mean, uh, I don't know if a uh, return would work. But I'd give it a shot. Couldn't hurt, right? And then he mentions some San Francisco 49ers, starting off with Chase Young. Yes. That's all I'm going to say. Yes. Right? I mean, what else is there really to say as my screen just froze? There we go. Okay. Sorry about that. Screen froze. I'm going to love it. Next, he mentioned Javon Kinlaw. I would take him. Mm-hmm. Yep. I would take him. Definitely. And uh, like Corey mentions, Andrew Barry loves to take on former first-round reclamation projects. Yep. If we don't bring back Mo or Shelby, I would be all for Javon Kinlaw. Oh, yeah. Especially, again, if the money is right. A lot of these would be good if the money is right, for sure. And then he mentions Sebastian Joseph Day who uh, was brought in by the Niners after he was let go by the Chargers right around uh, the end of the season. I thought the Browns would have taken a look at him uh, on waivers, but obviously that didn't work out. So, again, I would not mind bringing in Sebastian. Yeah, that'd be another good get. And then we're looking at the Chiefs. Chris Jones, if the Browns wanted to take a big swing at a free agent, Seems like every year they always make that big money signing. Chris Jones would be that guy. I mean, just imagine a defensive front consisting of Miles Garrett, Chris Jones, Dalvin Tomlinson, and let's say we go out and draft at the end, or maybe we sign one on the cheap or something. Or maybe we bring in Chase Young. Imagine that. That would be insane. But yeah, he's going to want a good-sized bag and... I'm not sure the Browns are going to be the team they give him that bag. I'd love it, though. 
But again, he's going to want a lot of money. So, yeah, I mean, if we were to make a big, big signing, I'd like it to be Chris Jones for sure. Next, Willie Gay Jr., linebacker. We could definitely use a linebacker. I mean, uh, Taki Taki and Anthony Walker are once again going to be free agents. You don't know what you have other than JOK. I mean, JOK and Willie Gay would be a good linebacker tandem for sure. And then he mentions another linebacker, Drew Tranquil. I've talked about him previously in another video. If you want to hear my thoughts uh, on that, go watch that video or whatever. But yeah, another solid linebacker that I would love to bring in if given the opportunity. And then we go to the Ravens. Uh, linebacker Patrick Queen. He's been solid this year next to Roquan Smith. I think he would fit in really well next to JOK for sure. And uh, yeah, he's a, he's a really good uh, run-stuffing linebacker type for sure. Quarterback Tyler Huntley. Same skill set as Deshaun Watson. Yeah. If we want to run, if we want a quarterback like that, I'd bring him in. I mean, like Corey mentions, he is a clear upgrade over PJ Walker and DTR. Definitely PJ Walker, for sure, <laughs> without a doubt. Yeah, I mean, if given the chance, I wouldn't mind bringing in Tyler Huntley. And then you have J.K. Dobbins, who unfortunately once again is coming off another major injury and. Uh, I don't know if I'd want my whole running back room consisting of running backs coming off of injuries, but man, if JK can stay healthy, he is an absolute stud. And I would definitely think about bringing him in for the right price, of course, coming off that injury. I don't think he'd cost too much. And then you have Justin Matabike, defensive tackle. He's going to get a big bag because he is an absolute stud and he had a monster year this year. I think he's probably going to be out of our price range, unfortunately. I don't even know if he'd even want to come here, to be honest. And then you have linebacker Malik Harrison, former Buckeye. I'm sure the allure of coming back to Ohio would probably intrigue him. But again, I don't know if he'd want to come here to play for the Browns. I wanted the Browns to draft him a couple of years ago, but of course they didn't. And uh, it'd be a good way to, you know, right another wrong by getting him in free agency. And then finally, we have wide receiver Devin DuVernay, who would most likely come in and be that gadget receiver, and uh, he would also most likely be our return man. Yeah. He's a pretty good return man, so I would definitely take him for that in itself. This is a pretty good receiver, too. So, yeah, those are 15 guys that uh the browns could look at who are playing this weekend let me make sure i didn't miss anybody because i know uh the page actually froze for a second and then once again i apologize for that gotta love it right so yeah i did not miss anybody how about that huh so let me know what you guys think down in the comments of the 15 guys that i just talked about who would you want the browns to sign let me know in the comments and uh that's going to wrap it up. And again, I will see you guys tonight for Cavs and Bucks. Until then, I'm Crazy Dog. Let's go, Browns. And I'll see you guys tonight. Bye-bye.